Hi, this is Firas Samir from dealingwithwindows.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with burning files and folders in different formats into uh, DVDs or CDs. So, to do that, uh, we have different methods of impl implementing that. Uh, for example, I have those three folders on the desktop. The first one, which is 01 contains pictures okay the second one is 0 to contain some files from a specific project that I have the third one is mp3 folder that contain mp3 songs so three of those files I want to uh, burn them on a DVD a blank DVD first of all what do you need to have at least you have to have a DVD writer drive on your PC. The first method and the easiest one that everybody or most of the people are using is the Windows burning internal, the Windows internal burning tool. How can I implement that? It's so simple. I have to select the three desired files and then right click and copy. Then I have to go to my computer and open the DVD writer drive. Now I'm inside the DVD writer drive. While I have already put the blank DVD into that drive, I will right click here on this area and paste the content. Now what what's happening? Now the the um, existed files are transferring as a shortcut inside this window so as you can see it has light color the folders has light color and it has this remark as if it's asking you that I'm still not on the DVD yet so uh, now if I want to burn those uh, files into the DVD now I have to click on on this link write these files to CD or DVD it's the same so I click on it it will ask me to enter a name for this uh, DVD for example test and then I click next to start burning those files into that blank DVD this is one method now I can delete those files because uh, they are only shortcuts it's not the original file so I just select them and press delete from the keyboard this is one of the methods the second way is to use one of the burning softwares I prefer personally the Nero burning room so I will click on the icon of Nero burning room this is the main interface of this program from this list you can choose either to burn a DVD or CD because I have a DVD right now so I'll leave it as DVD the multi-session page allows you to choose if you want to use this DVD for future Wh uh, what I mean by that if you want to add more files into that uh, particular DVD in the future so you have to select start multi-session if you don't want to add more files in the future you just choose no multi-session so the f the uh, the DVD w won't let you add more files on it in the future. Uh, I will I will tell you the most important uh, tabs from this one because some of them require much experience from you. And while I'm dealing with you as a normal uh, user, I'm not gonna go in deep details. I'm just going to give you the most important tabs that you can use easily to create your DVDs and CDs. So uh, now for the label tab you can write down the DVD name and uh, from the dates there are very nice uh, options in the dates uh, by selecting for example those two options you will have the, a the ability to assign which date this DVD uh, is created and from the volume expiration 
date and time uh, when it reached to that specific date and time that you've already assigned the DVD will be no more accessible this is a very nice uh, and tricky way to protect your DVD in for a specific time perspective for the burning interface uh, this determine maximum speed option uh, it's useful to use it when your those files located on different medias for example if you have this uh, file on the desktop this one on an external hard disk drive and this one uh, uh, located on a flash disk for example so each one of those sources for example the hard disk drive speed is different than the flash RAM speed and both are different that their speeds are different than the hard disk speed so by selecting this option it will determine the lowest speed of the reading speed and it will assign a specific speed for the writing process in order to make um, a successful burning for your DVDs okay and uh, if you don't if you just want to lock this DVD and it will no longer be uh, able to be write any additional information even if this one is start multi session option is selected this is the speed writing speed of your DVDs the better to choose the exact DVD speed that it's written on the DVD blank disk for example my DVD blank disk is six support 16 X the, the speed of the writing um, if I choose 4x most probably maybe 95 percent this DVD will be defected and it will not uh, be um, successfully uh, past the, the burning operation so it's better to choose the exact speed for the C CD sometimes you find that there is another option of maximum speed you will see here the CD and the burn you'll see the maximum here it's better to leave it on maximum so leave the DVD uh, uh, writer drive and the software to assign a specific and the best speed for writing the um, data on, on it for the number of copies it's better for you to assign the maximum number of copies of the, that particular DVD that you're making at the beginning why because if you want to make a data DVD it means contain different type of files as I show you um, what this software is going to do the first thing is going to collect all those files and store them as an image file on the hard disk then it will start writing this image on a DVD so the the collecting of those files and converting them to an image on the hard disk will take a little bit more time than the uh, the time that uh, taking for the writing I mean for the burning so this time of collecting those files and make them as an image on the hard disk depends on number of files you have depends on the sources that those files are located in depends on the subdirectories that are located inside those fo folders and files the more subdirectories the more time for collecting those files and make them as one image on the hard disk so if you select this for example if you want to have two copies if you select this for example two from the beginning so this uh, tra uh, this conversion and collecting a process time will be happened only once and the second copy will take only the time of the burning um, a process which is maybe it, ta it will take uh, around a couple of minutes so after finishing all those settings we click on new we will have a new interface in this uh, browser 